What's up? This is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 Lawn Care video. And today we're going to be using the John Deere Zero Turn in the Walker Mower. And we're going to be using the new Ford F550 flatbed truck with the enclosed trailer by request. So let's start up this truck and uh, get it attached to the trailer since we do have to cut a lot of lawns today. And I thought we would do a lawn care video since we have the shop fully updated. And if you guys do have any cool updates you guys would like me to do, let me know down below. We'll hop out here and we do need to attach it. Awesome. So we got that fully attached. And I thought that we would take the dually today with the enclosed trailer since it can support a lot of weight. Since this trailer is very heavy, we're going to put this down. And I think we're going to put the walker in first. Since uh, we're going to be using the zero turn on the back of the property, backyard, and the walker on the front. So I'm actually thinking we're going to put the zero turn first. We'll start this up. And this is a great zero turn mower. And I'm very excited that we are using it for this lawn care company. And stay tuned for a very cool video coming soon where we will be uh, customizing a logo. And uh, putting it on the sides of all the equipment, on the sides of the trailer and on the door panels of the truck. I think that's going to be awesome. We're going to start up this walker right here. Now this is great for doing some awesome stripes. We're going to be using it for the front of the property. That way it does a very nice job. And then we're going to be mulching the back. But uh, before we hop in the truck, we do want to uh, lock up our shop so that no equipment goes missing. Look at those garage doors. I did do a video installing those. If you guys would like to check that out, we'll put up these ramps really fast and head on out. And we have a long day ahead of us for mowing, and I can't wait for it since we are using all the new setup, and it's a lot of fun. So I think we're going to be taking a right, pretty wide turn, if you would say. But this F550, the suspension is slanted down just a little, but the load trail and uh, trailer is pretty heavy, so I can understand why. And I thought we would use this because it's a great truck to use but we are going to be mowing one of the largest residential properties that we have and it's a very large house so I mean it's a pretty big job for us but whoa we're gonna be turning in to this street and uh, really liking this F550 it's a great truck I really do recommend it to all of you so you guys can enjoy it now we're gonna be doing this house over here to the left so we're going to pull off to the side of the road, that way the cars can still get by. We're going to put the ramps down and we're going to turn our hazard lights on. Hopefully they do stay on, but I will put the ramp down. And I did get a few comments asking me if you could put the ramp down outside. And that is not possible, but that would be awesome and very realistic. And I wish that that could happen, but it cannot at the moment. So we're going to back off here. And uh, I think we're just going to mow the front and this side. And this 52-inch deck, I think, should be able to handle the majority of this. And I did notice that on this map, the cutting distance is a little bit different than what it usually is on other maps. So I'm not really exactly sure why that is happening with this map. But uh, look at that, guys. Look at that large backyard. And it does also have a large gate, which is very helpful because uh, that means that we could definitely fit the uh, 72 inch uh, John Deere zero turn back there. Look at that guys, we are doing a great job. And like I was saying, I'm not sure exactly why this mower is cutting a little bit wider, but I'm not sure if it's something to do with the map, but I hope you guys are having a great day today. And let me know down below how your day is going since mine is going awesome. And uh, smash the like button if you guys are excited for the new 2017 lawn care season I think we're gonna make one more pass back up and down and then that's going to be pretty much it for this side property and then we're gonna do over there and then we're gonna hit the back with the John Deere which I think will make one nice cut but look at that awesome uh, nice white picket fence that looks pretty cool and I will be doing some cool modding videos building more and more things on this map so stay tuned for some of those coming within the next few weeks and I do have some cool cool videos in store for all of you but this walker mower is probably one of the best mowers I know of that does some great stripes and I wish that the game would show these stripes but it does not but overall look at the nice cut 
that this does even though it, it cuts a really wide pattern that looks really nice almost like it's a turf field looks awesome and this is a roundabout street but I thought that there was a GoPro on this looks like this version does not but there is a GoPro on one of them and that's a very cool version because uh, the GoPro is pretty cool to have but we will be getting a weed eater pretty soon look at that guys that is a pretty large backyard back there but let me know down below if you guys would like me to do a throwback video to lawn care in FS15 I'm thinking about doing one I think that'll be awesome since a lot of the cool mods that aren't yet in this game are in that and we could definitely do that but trying to mow pretty close to the fence and the stairs definitely need to do some more landscaping kind of add more flowers around this house so I think we're gonna do some cool videos with that in the spring but this is actually a very large driveway but I think that it's more uh, realistic and professional for us not to kind of park in the clients driveway we'll just park on the side of the street since it's actually not too busy but we're gonna make one more pass down here do this little section and then we're gonna switch to that John Deere and like I was saying a lot of you guys did give me a lot of requests to use a John Deere zero turn, even a stand-on mower. And I will be working on a stand-on mower very soon for us, because I'm very excited to use one of those, since they are very efficient and compact mowers, and they do a great job. But I will be also looking to see if we can get any cool new mower brands into this game for the 2017 lawn care season. And I'm very hyped for it, because we do have a nice shop, which we might be moving into a larger one if you guys would like so let me know should we get a larger shop for the start since I mean we filled the shop completely it is pretty full and we found ways to find more and more space and use every uh, last bit of space but I think that it's almost time for us to upgrade to a large one but I think that building one to our custom needs would be also very cool to do so let me know your thoughts should we build a custom one make a bunch of videos building it and cool things like that but that's going to be it for mowing the front of this house so we're going to be parking this walker mower to the side hopefully nobody takes it we're definitely going to take the key out and uh, we'll park it right here and I wouldn't park it too off to the side of the road but these roads are very narrow so I will definitely look into making them a little bit larger we'll start up the uh, John Deere I almost just said X mark but we're going to back this off and I think we're going to make our way back over there. But I don't want to just cut through the lawn. I just want to go along the side. That way we don't uh, kind of, let's just say, I don't know. We don't want to uh, just kind of um, disturb or destroy the nice uh, striping patterns. But this will definitely go by very fast since uh, this 72 inch mows a lot. And like I was saying, I will be looking into... Uh, this problem with uh, it's cutting a little too much and I think it's the map because these mowers don't really do this on any other map so if you are a modern know what it is please let me know and uh, I hope that we could get this fixed that way uh, we could do some more realistic since it's not too realistic having it cut this wide but I mean it is very efficient if you would say one pass counts as like three which is pretty funny but uh I think we're going to load up, head back to the shop, and possibly unload. But also, would you guys like me to start to drive to the shop for the start of everyday lawn care? I think that would be awesome to kind of make our way from the house to the shop. Very realistic, but I think we have to get this last patch. Look at that, guys. We finished. We did a great job. So we're going to make our way back and load everything up. And uh, I think we're going to possibly unload everything. Well, this is a pretty large uh, house neighborhood, if you say rich neighborhood, since the houses are very large. And I kind of built this on uh, map to have some large properties, and then also to have some small ones. But we're going to drive this in. That uh, protection roll bar, if you would say, almost barely doesn't clear it. So that's awesome that it does, or else we can't use it with this uh, enclosed trailer. So we're going to load this up. Now this enclosed trailer is awesome. I will be looking at getting our 18 foot one converted to this game since we did have a very nice one. But we're going to indicate that we are going and uh, we're going to start up our truck and pull on out. Now this truck 
it, I think we should do something cool with it. So if you do have any cool ideas, any custom beds or anything like that we should do to it, let me know down below. Because I think that this truck really uh, could use some cool upgrades. Especially, I might think about blacking out these wheels. So let me know your thoughts. Should we black out this truck? Do like a blacked out edition without the chrome and all that good stuff. So let me know your thoughts. I'm just trying to make some cool truck ideas that would be very cool to use in some videos. But right now, we are driving through. And I think we're going to be taking this turn. Yep. Very large, wide turning. Since we are towing a 30-foot trailer, even longer than 30 feet, I believe. So it's a very long trailer. And you do have to take wide turns. But we are going by the gas station. And I think for one of the videos, we're going to stop by the gas station and fuel up. I think that will be awesome. But we're going to be back and in here since it's a too small of an area to turn around. So we're going to try to back in. We are doing a great job at backing in. Awesome. It usually takes a few times to get used to it in this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought down below. And if you do have any cool mower ideas or mowers you guys would like me to use, let me know. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.